Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Dev Pro Duel video. This time a milestone that I never thought I'd reach. 10,000 subscribers! Unbelievable! Um, thank you all for the support. Making videos takes up a lot of time, but it's really worth the effort. With uh, all the positive feedback and, yeah, and uh, appreciation I get back in return. Um, it's a special occasion. So I eventually decided to make this video a, a cross-format dual video with uh, my all-time favorite deck, Formula Frog Monarchs from 2011. Um, I think pretty much the, the best Monarch variant uh, in this game's history, because the deck had uh, a build-in draw engine with uh, triple formula synchron, and uh, also access to a full extra deck, uh, even to Trishla and Brionek with uh, relative ease. Both uh, Genex Undyne and Swapfrog provide instant access to uh, Treeborn and Undyne also to Fishborg. Uh, the deck had everything I could wish during its metagame of uh, Yasik Samurai, uh, Synchro or Tengu Plant and uh, to some extent Gladiator Beast and Lightsworn. Um, this is a decklist I used at my national championship of 2011. Uh, I went undefeated during Swiss, so 7-0. And first place, and yeah, losing my top 16 match against uh, Gateway or yeah, Six Samurais. Um, I've been playing the game uh, ever since 2004, so I started around code format. Uh, so I experienced pretty much every format of this awesome game. Well, sometimes it's awesome, uh, because it does have a lot of bullshit, as you'll see in the duels. Um, but still, the, yeah, the people you get to know uh, through tournaments from just locals to YCSs are friends for life. Um, with that, let's start off. All the decklists will be shown uh, before the duel. Uh, first up, code format. Around 2004, yeah, for many players, including myself, pretty much one of the best formats in this game's history. Uh, a player's skill was at its finest here. Uh, unless yeah, you pretty much yeah, got, got Trinity first turn, so Pod Graceful Delinquent. Uh, yet you still had a chance to win that duel. Uh, yeah, after the first game. Um, so yeah, as said, uh, Bone is playing Goat format. He doesn't. Yeah, he starts off rather with uh, not that great of an opening hand. Although yeah, double coat, um, not that bad. So yeah, metamorphosis or something like that uh, does change that hand into a very good hand. Uh, I immediately get the momentum going. Set up the tree bomb with swap, and uh, also open with undine. That's like the I think the best opening hand you could have. Uh, so yeah, open with both Swap and Undyne, so Swap mills your Treeborn and uh, Genex Undyne sends your Fishborg to the grave, so you, you, yeah, you immediately have your engine going between uh, both Fishborg and Treeborn. Uh, so I set up Formula Sync on Draw a card, yeah, discard the useless uh, uh, Genex Controller. Well, Genex Controller is not that useless, but uh, yeah, at this moment it's uh, the, yeah, the, the less needed card in the hand. Uh, keep that swap also. Have an, yeah, draw another undine, so not that bad. Also have triple Ryza in hand, so I, I think I, sh I should have the duel already in the bag. Um, my opponent is playing goat, uh, yeah, and goat format is rather slow, uh, so it does need a lot of time to set up. And uh, yeah, since I already have the engine going, um, yeah, this, this should normally uh, be an easy duel. Um, so yeah, normal 7 and 9 eventually go for Trishula, and Trishula does not target, so my opponent needs to activate his cards uh, in response to Trishula's effect. Uh, so if I uh, if it doesn't respond with his bottomless, I can just uh, yeah, use Trishula's effect to target the cards, and he cannot respond with bottomless uh, after that. So he needs to activate his cards beforehand. Um, he rips the delinquent through, not that devastating, although yeah, I discard my useless Undyne, I believe. Also lose a Ryza, not that uh, terrible. Um, since I, yeah, I, I'm pretty much in a plus uh, three, I think, uh, quickly. Um, so yeah, he changed the goats. Obviously, obviously going to attack into the goats. He draws again the torrential tribute. He's going to set it. Uh, good move. They did not chain it. But yeah, as I said, um, this should normally be game over. Uh, yeah, obviously it's going to torrentially. But yeah, this is just uh, dragging the duel even more. Um, nicely sitting on it. Both failure. Um, yeah, lose 1500, so my turn again. That's one back row, still had that Ryza, so Soul Exchange uh, will follow up with Ryza. So that keeps my Treebone on the field so I can uh, yeah, discard the useless Fader. Um, there is the Goat, so yeah, I think I'm going to discard the Fader since yeah, it's rather useless now at the moment uh, for uh, the Fisherborg. 
um, yeah, normally you you want to obviously yeah, discard your useless card for Fishborg and then yeah, so just summon Formula and nicely sit on the Monarch plus Formula so you can uh, yeah maybe uh, Excel Synchro during their turn during their main phase or yeah respond yeah respond accordingly during uh, yeah, to their play. Um, so yes, Xarion Universe also an excellent card during Goat format to uh, trample or take over the tokens. Uh, it's not so good obviously against. Uh, well, yeah, it's not bad against Frog Monarchs because you can just attack over the Treeborn, of course. Uh, here we have Metamorphosis, so there is a thousand ties restrict. One of the the best cards of Goat format, uh, the best fusion cards that is. Um, so I'm going to Valor that restrict. Uh, you don't see that every day. Valor on thousand ties restrict. Um, yeah, this card uses Fade, but yeah, this is much, pretty much game over. So special summon the fish bar I can attack. I don't want to uh, drag the duel even longer, so attack for 28 to directly set the MST just in case he draws, uh, I think, his uh, third scapegoat or a back row or whatever. Um, top extra graceful charity, not that useful unless it draws uh, Black Luster. Uh, it's a Sengon, and I think he's going to scoop, yeah, because of the Scrap Dragon and so on. Um, next, next format, we have uh, Perfect Circle, one of, also, yeah, also one of the, the best formats in this game's history. Um, this is Jonathan LeBounty's list from uh, 2007, he won uh, a Shonen Jump back then with uh, this, I believe the first Shonen Jump uh, from this deck, Perfect Circle with uh, Ryza and Phoenix Wingblast. Um, so yeah, the first duel. I think he gets a start, yeah. Um, he plays double Vortex main, which, which was also a, a big tech uh, during that uh, metagame. Um, looking at my hand, I'm playing double Mobius in the main deck, because this uh, Formula Monarchs was during the, 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 the Six Samurai format where Heavy Storm was banned, I think for the first time. And uh, yeah, everyone like now just set two or three back rows without fear, and nobody played Starlight Road, so that's why Mobius is obviously, uh, or, or, yeah, was very good back then. Um, yeah, drop the course on his uh, straddles, uh, so it puts me in a nice position, although he's going to Vortex. And now he makes like one of the most uh, bullshitty, yeah, the most threatening moves if you get it against you with like uh, they special summon malicious and s s yeah for no reason and set one back row. That's obviously the crush card virus. And yeah, as you know, I, I pretty much uh, yeah half my deck. Uh, it's like uh, a huge amount of uh, high attack monsters, so I obviously lose uh, to Crush Card Virus, losing my whole hand. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much game over, I think. Um, I can MST his back row. Um, I think my only out here is maybe an Undyne to uh, yeah, send to the Fish Bark to Grave and uh, play a bit more on Synchros. But seeing as he does have the Lightning Vortex, uh, yeah, Lightning Vortex in his hand, this is uh, game over. So that Crush Card kills me. Um, so next duel, I want Revenge. So normal summon Undyne and set up the Treeborn and Pass. So again, a very nice hand with one Tribute, double Soul Exchange, enemy control, not bad. Um, he also opens very nice. I think, yeah, Perfect Circle plays uh, double Malicious. Yeah, Malicious was at 2 at the moment, also this Commander. Yeah, the bullshit with uh, Call of the Haunted, Premature Burial and so on. Um, so it sets 2, my draw, draw the failure, so not bad. Um, yeah, he's going to Wing Blast on my Treeborn, so a good move on his part. Uh, also, I'm yeah, pretty much forced to activate my enemy controller at this moment. Um, yeah, obviously I, I don't want to uh, let him send my Treeborn back to the top of the deck. And uh, I thought earlier, back in the duel, that he got the Destiny Hero Malicious to his hand with uh, Stratos. So I, I overlooked that he got the Fearmonger to his hand, and that will be important, uh, as you'll see in a, in a few moments. Uh, luckily, my Chaos wasn't a Ryza, so I won't uh, yeah, send this call back to the top of the deck and banish it instead. Uh, yeah, it gets two draws with uh, the Disc Commander, and here is where I made the mistake. I attack into his phase on, uh, yeah, completely forgetting that he got the Fearmonger from uh, the Stratos. I, I, I was sure that he got the Malicious, uh, so that's a mistake on my part. So I, I have to burn a failure on a Saborg here. Uh, Saborg also an excellent tribute during the Perfect Circle format. Uh, with also the Cyber Dragon in hand, uh, immediately providing tribute access. Um, so my turn again. Draw into Light and Darkness Dragon. So finally, uh, try to get some momentum back in the game. So Soul Exchange the support can get the Light and Darkness Dragon on board. Okay, so now I, I, I'm hoping that he does need to burn a lot of cards. Um, he flips over his Heavy Storm, which he didn't need to do. He can just, yeah, as he do now, yeah, special summon a Cyber Dragon and tribute for Zaborg. Zaborg triggers Light and Darkness Dragon's effect, so we will drop um, yeah, to 18, and then he can attack over it. So I think I'm going to reborn the Failure. So yeah, Failure 
uh, equals uh, formula synchron uh, during my stay, uh, during my next turn, of course, with the Treeborn. And uh, again, the same move. He's going to special summon his malicious and set one card. Uh, luckily, I don't have any kind of uh, yeah, high level, uh, high attack monster in my hands. And uh, yeah, I have to, I have to play it uh, yeah, it's a, a bit slower. So I normal summon Undyne, uh, normal summon uh, Controller. I have to say, so uh, go for uh, yeah, synchro summon for army arm and then synchro summon for uh, Catester. And uh, yeah, I'm nicely sitting on both uh, failures to protect the Catester, so I can uh, a bit yeah stall out the crush card. Uh, so I don't draw tribute, so that's nice. Um, yeah, the, the the perfect circle deck uh, is one fearmonger is gone. Uh, I know yeah the, the bounty deck this does only play one monger. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's set could have been uh, the Spirit Reaper, the, yeah, the Sengen, maybe a Mystic Tomato, so nothing uh, too threatening. Uh, draw a useless Swap Frog, uh, but yeah, again, I'm still on a Crush card, so it's not bad. Uh, take into the Expected Reaper, yeah, for next turn, so I can Soul Exchange. Yeah, Reaper is definitely a threat. Um, yeah, if he gets uh, the, the opportunity to, uh, yeah, to attack directly, I'm forced to either burn a Failure or drop my, uh, my Battle Fader early on, since yeah, he will just discard a card instead. He rips a Pot of Everest. I think yeah, the deck does play like one or two Pot of Everest. And uh, also the Premature Burial, so we can Reborn his disc. I have to fail her, I don't want to uh, yeah, let him draw two cards. Uh, he tributes for Ryza. Try to get rid of the Catester. Uh, so I again have to fail the Ryza, so nice, not bad. Um, you see, he flips over his uh, Wing Blast in Battle Phase, so I lose my Catester. And as said earlier in the duel, I have to burn my Battle Fader early on. I don't want to let him discard with uh, Reaper. Um, yeah, I'm not on a Crash card, I think, anymore, so draw into MST. And Torra yeah, MST is phase down Torrential. Normal Summon Swap, I'm not going to attack since, yeah, again, the Reaper is a threat and I want it off the field. So Soul Exchange Reaper, the Reaper destroys itself its effect and bounces back the Swap. So pass, I can't go for Slacker Magician or uh, something like that. Uh, Exceeds didn't exist back then. Uh, yeah, it takes over the Fader and passes. Hopefully I draw into a Tribute or uh, an, yeah, an Undyne to set up the Fish Bork and I can go from there. Uh, I draw a Ryza, so that's perfect. I can Soul Exchange this Monarch and uh, yeah, bounce back his Frog to the top of his deck uh, to set him back a draw. So nice, I'm back in the duel after the Crush card. Um, he Snipe Hunter. Snipe Hunter was also an excellent card to bring Perfect Circle to yeah, set up your Grave with uh, yeah, for Malicious, Disc Commander, the Treeborn, uh, so not bad. Draw into Econ, not the card I wanted. It's now it's, it's pretty much draw into uh, yeah, draw, to, draw into your Fishborg. Draw a foolish, draw a Fishborg, draw Undyne, or maybe a tribute, Light and Darkness Dragon with the enemy controller, and then should be pretty much game over every time. Uh, so it's, a, it's pretty much a matter of time. Uh, he wrote us the Fearmonger that he uh, yeah, put back a few moments ago with the Everest. Uh, then my turn, and um, I'm going to draw into the Foolish, so finally a Fishborg access. Uh, yeah, any control his Fearmonger, so my plan here was to obviously have Foolish Burial for Fishborg, discard the useless uh, swap, and uh, yeah, have access to uh, a level 6 Synchro, so either Brionek or uh, Gaia Dragon. And uh, But I draw Undyne, so that's perfect, I'm going to send the dead Undyne in my deck to the grave. Uh, get the controller from my deck and immediately synchro summon for Trishula. So I'm going to banish his Treeborn from the uh, yeah from the field, banish his Disc Commander from the grave, and banish the I believe the Vortex from his hand. Um, so this huge momentum, huge momentum swing in the game. Uh, draw into MST on I think on his own MST, so not that great. Um, and I believe it's going to survive with um, I I don't know 100 life points I think. Um, yeah, I made the mistake. I should have special summoned the Treeborn in attack position. Uh, a hasty mistake on my part. Um, and yeah, this can definitely cost me uh, the duel since he does top deck into the Mirror Force. Uh, so we can stop the Trishla from uh, yeah, from destroying a Cyber Dragon, but I draw into Ryza. And uh, yeah, we know he already burned his uh, Torrential Tribute. Uh, so yeah, cards like Bottomless won't save him and attack for a game. Uh, so yeah, this was an excellent duel. Next format, Synchro Cat. So we are in 2009. Uh, Synchro Cat is well known for uh, yeah, uh, discarding from the hand with Air Bellum and go for uh, an OTK with double Dark Strike Fighter. Now double, uh, yeah, now a uh, Dark Strike Fighter got uh, yeah got a ruling change that you can only activate it during your main phase one. 
but back then you can just yeah go for summoner monk uh, as yes you will see in the duel uh, in, a, in a few moments and uh, then yeah make double uh, dark strike fighter attack with both and then activate their effects to give yeah the last remaining damage of yeah burn damage to your opponent and win the game and uh, yeah also the crush card double cold wave or yeah maybe triple cold wave uh, to stun your opponents uh, back and yeah steal the game or go for the game uh, that uh, yeah during that format that was just bullshit just ridiculous as you will see in a moment um, yeah I think the synchro cat they, they, they did play I believe double uh, gold sark and uh, he knows that I'm playing uh, formula monarch so he's obviously going to instant search his uh, crush card virus I'm not going to attack since uh, the deck does play gravekeeper spy or mystic tomato to search out the summoner monk from the deck since yeah both summoner monk and rescue cat are both uh, the key cards and this is pretty much the yeah the, the main combo of the deck you normal summon your monk Discard the spell, special summon the second monk, and then special summon the rescue cat from your deck. Rescue cat tributes itself, special summon double air bellow, and then yeah, it's either discard and discard of yeah attack and discard a few cards from the opponent's hand, or yeah, make double dark strike fighter. As he's doing, I as he as he does now. I don't have fader, don't have veiler, so I can't uh, yeah prevent him from destroying my life, <laughs> destroying my life. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 one of the, the yeah the, the bullshit decks uh, back then in 2009, the the synchro cat. So next, I want revenge. Um, again, I start so normal summon undying. Set up the treeborn, so not bad. Also have the failure. Um, so yeah, it's it's still um, we're, yeah we're playing with priority, of course. Uh, but get, yeah, because back then in 2009, uh, the game still had the regular priority. And that are into the one for one, so perfect one. Well, yeah, one for one could either special summon your fishborg, or uh, yeah, in the, the worst case scenario, a treeborn from your deck. Draw into another undine, so perfect. Send a useless undine to my grave and get that second controller to the hand, and le yeah, just leave both undines on the field, safe against a uh, possible air bellum. Since yeah, air bellum does need to do direct damage with his attack to discard the card, and I can also synchro summon with uh, formula synchro. Here I can go for uh, Trishla. Uh, but I think yeah, because of his two back rows, I go. I obviously go for Stardust. Um, I also play Shooting Star just in case you can, like for example, eek on your opponent Stardust. Uh, so set up the yeah Formula Synchron with the Ryza on field. So again, access to a level eight Synchro. And this is yeah, as you'll see the the yeah one of the the biggest strengths the deck has. Yeah, the the Formula Monarch deck has. You can just sit on your Ryza and Formula, and if your opponent uh, makes yeah makes a move, you can just. Uh, Excel Synchro during their turn and make the appropriate Synchro. Um, here again I have access to uh, Trishla, so why not? I have the starters on the field so I'm safe against uh, the Crush card since we know the, that the uh, search out is Crush with Gold Sark. Uh, I think so, yeah. I'm obviously not going to negate the bottomless with Stardust, uh, but I do. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to negate the Crush card. I don't want to lose my whole hand. Um, although, yeah, Light and Darkness Dragon will trigger uh, when it's destroyed by Crush card in the hand. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, this is pretty much game over. Sitting on the Stardust, the enemy control in hand, the course the Veiler, and yeah, he gets his Summoner Monk to his hand. He's going to activate its effect to special summon or try to special summon his Rescue Cat from his uh, extra, yeah, from his deck to uh, yeah, hopefully um, still have a chance. But yeah, he's still left at 900, so it's game over. Next format. Uh, Dino Rabbit, also I think one of the most hated formats from the game, the, the Insector Dino Rabbit and the Windup format. Uh, this is pretty much the yeah Dino Rabbit at full force. So three Rescue Rabbit, three Tour Guides, um, three Guaybas, your six Normals, uh, double Warning, the Solemn Judgment. Uh, so yeah, triple Langia in the the extra deck, double Dolka. Um, yeah, bullshit at its finest, uh, as you will see in these duels. Uh, I believe, yeah, he gets a start, and immediately, obviously, they always open with, uh, yeah, with the rescue rabbits. So he's going to special summon both normals and go for the lagia. So no back row, and my hand, three undines, a foolish. Um, yeah, I was hoping that he would negate the summon here because I know, obviously, yeah, full down rabbit plays uh, Guaiba, which is obviously an easy target. Uh, or yeah, uh, Undyne is an easy target for Guaiba, so I'm forced to burn again an early Veiler since I want to keep my Veiler for the Tour Guide possibly, so we can uh, yeah not go for Livier and again go for the Bunny and so on. Um, so yeah, I think Gorse is still my chance to uh, yeah still be in the duel. Uh, drop Gorse on his uh, I believe yeah, on the Guaiba. Um, he's going to Maxi. Maxi is going to uh, still have him get the momentum in the game. I think I have the Fishborg set up. 
Um, but I'm going to make army arms since I, I, have, I have to get rid of the, the Kawaiba and at the same time also the Lygia. So let's hope that its back row is a bluff, so maybe an MST, but it's a Book of Moon. So I'm going to equip my token with the army arm, uh, make a high attack monster, so at yeah, most of the time Dino Rabbit does have a lot of problems against high level, yeah, high attack monsters. Um, but yeah, he pretty much has the perfect, perfect hand. He goes for the Livier, yeah, tour guide into uh, the Sangan. Go for Livier, uh, yeah, tribute to Rescue Rabbit, four double normals, and he's going to reborn my Veil and go for Trishula. And that, yeah, pretty much cripples me. Uh, yeah, banish both. Yeah, banish my Treeborn, banish my, I believe, uh, monster on the field. Um, and also, yeah, a card from my hand. So I draw Treeborn, but yeah, he still has that Lagia on the field with uh, materials. He also has the Veiler in hand. He draws into Lens. And still, he has a Olivier setup, and uh, yeah, I also think the the, the rescue, yeah, the Dino Rabbit deck also plays double pot of Everest, so he can uh, yeah just abuse everything uh, to its maximum. Uh, yeah, I can just stall a bit. Uh, he does set this lens, as you will see in a moment. He will use it to protect his Lagia from the enemy control, and that's pretty much game over. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. Uh, opening with Rabbit, the tour guide for uh, for Olivier and so on. Um, so yeah, that's just uh, yeah, Dino Rabbit at full force. Um, so yeah, another duel against Dino Rabbit. Normal summon the Undyne again. Send the Treeborn back to the grave, get that Undyne. Uh, get that Controller, I mean, and pass. So hopefully he does not have a Gwaiba. Uh, obviously he does, so I again have to burn a failure on the Gwaiba. Uh, I would rather yeah, keep the failure for, for Tour Guide. Um, he sets two back rows, so not bad. Um, yeah, draw into enemy controller, and I want to keep the enemy controller for later, for like, uh, yeah, lure out the materials from Lagia, for example, or get a Dolka. Um, so I'm obviously not going to enemy control his uh, Gwaiba, and hopefully Mobius comes through, but he does have finish chain, so he's going to activate his finish chain on Mobius, and I have to pass. Um, he normally summons another Gwaiba, yeah, he does not play the Turak Fellow, uh, so he only, yeah, he's only playing the, yeah, the triple Gwaiba. Um, he's going to make Dolga, so a good move on his part. Uh, it's not a Forbidden Lens, I believe it's, it's Mirror Force. Uh, I'm going to attack with the Dolga, it's not going to Mirror Force, so I'm going to Tribute Summon the Ryza. Target is face down, no response, so no Torrential. Um, yeah, the Mirror Force is sent back to the top of his deck, and he's going to attack the Treeborn, and yeah, nothing uh, too special, I think. Now it's yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, a grinding game. There is the Undyne, so I think I'm going to normal summon the Undyne. Yeah, because we know it's it's not a torrential tribute. Set up the fish bork and now it's pretty much I think yeah, it's pretty much game over. I can discard the useless Chinese controller. Uh, draw an extra card with Formula Synchron. Uh, I can go for Trishla, I believe. Um, but yeah, making Stardust was the, the better move. No, I cannot for, go for Trishla. Um, so yeah, special summon the Stardust, special summon the uh, yeah, attack with everything. Uh, he draws a useless uh, Solemn Warning. And uh, yeah, that Venus Shane is blocking his course. Uh, a bit unfortunate for him. Uh, but yeah, this is game Mobius. Only left at uh, 1500, so tribute for Mobius. Um, and then yeah, destroy both his back rows and attack for game. Uh, so yeah, an excellent tool. So if, if Dino Rabbit does not start with uh, Rescue Rabbit and Tour Guide like those two shenanigans moves, uh, I think it's yeah, pretty much a fair matchup. Um, the last last deck, and I think one of the, the best decks in this game's history, uh, full Dragon Rulers with uh, triple rejuvenation, like uh, on the same level as uh, Spellbooks with uh, Spellbook of Judgment. Yeah, you know, the ridiculous Spellbook uh, card. Um, I get to start. Uh, open with double Mobius. Double Mobius is not that great against Dragon Rules. As you saw, it, it pretty much yeah, does not play any Pekro uh, outside the one Book of Moon. So that's already terrible. Um, and yeah, he goes through. Uh, he's, go yeah, he's going to with his deck with uh, both the smaller dragons, uh, discarding four dragons in the process. Yeah, he forgot that he cannot attack with both dragons, which are special summoned with uh, yeah, the smaller dragons. He makes Draco Sacred. He also could have activated his uh, Super Rejuvenation here and then tribute both his dragons for Light and Darkness Wing, and I get to draw six in the end phase. Like, draw six? How ridiculous is that? <laughs> that that yeah, super rejuvenation is at three uh, during that format. Uh, I believe it was last year. Yeah, indeed. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to enemy control his Draco Sack. He's going to uh, failure the token summons. Okay, not bad. Uh, formula. Uh, yeah, eventually go for formula. Um, so my plan here was to uh, yeah make formula and uh, tribute um, yeah his Draco Sack for a Mobius and then have the Trishla option. 
uh, for next turn. But I draw into Light and Darkness Wing, so I hoped I can, uh, yeah, Light and Darkness Wing could me get back, uh, was able to get me back in the duel. Uh, so he could, yeah, he, he needed to, like, burn all his dragons from his grave to, uh, yeah, get the Light and Darkness Wing as low as possible. But he has the Book of Moon, so we can put the Light and Darkness Wagon face down. And now, yeah, I can just spam his field full of dragons. And I'm just, yeah, sitting on a useless formula synchron. Uh, yeah, double Mobius are dead in the hand. Um, he does make a mistake, I believe. I think he just should have attacked the Light and Darkness Wagon first. Yeah, it's, it's not really that big, since, yeah, he's going to end with Abyss Gaios and, and the Scrap Dragon. Um, an enemy control would have been nice here, but no, yeah, close, but no cigar. Um, I think I'm going to draw the Chaos. Yeah, it's not what I needed. I can, yeah, tribute summon for Chaos, but it will just negate it with uh, Abyss Gaios. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much game over. Uh, nothing I can do about this. The onslaught of Dragon Rulers. Yeah, Dragon Rulers at full force. But uh, I think, yeah, without Super Rejuvenation, I, I, I can, I, I, I think I have a chance, a small chance of winning with uh, Light and Darkness Dragon, of course. But um, the moment that he gets it, it gets a, a huge super rejuvenation of like draw four or draw six, that's just uh, yeah mind blowing. Um, so I obviously lose this one. Um, last duel of the video. Let's see if I can uh, win this one against Dragon Wars. Um, he gets yeah. He starts off with Sark on the Tempest, and again pretty much the same move as last duel. So discard four uh, dragons to the grave with uh, two babies, two baby dragons, and end with the Draco Sack play, set the Book of Moon, and again the Super Rejuvenation, um, draw into the Light and Darkness Dragon, draw into the Failer, so he's pretty much set to go. And uh, yeah, I even have to start. So I set up the Treeborn, attack into his token, and yeah, pass with an open field. Um, nice to sitting on the Fader though. Then yeah, the Tempest turn number one is going to special summon two tokens. Uh, I think he's going to, yeah, try to go for game. So he banishes title from his deck, search out another title, I believe, yeah. Then uh, special summon the blast and go for light and darkness. I think he made a mistake. He, I think he, yeah, was able to uh, uh, search summon another deck. I think he has the, the redoxing wave. I'm not sure though. Um, I reveal the failure. He attacked with light and darkness dragon first, so that's a good move on his part. Um, but I think I think I'm left at 300 life points. I think. Um, but yeah, again, this is pretty much game over, as you will see. He does have Book of Moon set. Um, he has a failure in hand. And uh, yeah, also Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro um, implemented the new uh, Treeborn ruling that when Treeborn is negated, like with uh, the Light Nardness Wagon or with Solemn Warning, uh, the same Treeborn cannot activate it. Yeah, it cannot activate its effect during the same semi phase. Um, which is, yeah, crucial here because I draw into one for one. I, I can go for Fishbark, go for Formula, uh, use Soul Exchange on the Light Nardness Wagon, or yeah, vice versa. And, uh, but yeah, he's still, he's still at the Book of Moon, he's still at the Failure in hand, so it's not that big of a deal. So, good game, Dragon Rules at full force is just too strong. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, it's a very long video, I, and I hope it's interesting enough. Again, thank you everyone for the support, and with that, I'm going to end the video. Okay guys, thanks, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. We'll leave them signing out. Peace.